When it comes to making decisions, our eyes have a lot to answer for. For example, when it comes to price, people tend to choose the most expensive object rather than the cheaper ones. Similarly, we tend to gravitate toward what others are looking at rather than what we are looking at ourselves. With this in mind, imagine the power of understanding visual cues in decision-making and how it can be applied beyond just aesthetics alone. This is where the Andrew Huberman study on the neuroscience of IQs and decision-making comes into play. From understanding why we prefer brand names over generic products to how brands can capitalize on this universal human trait, watch the entire video to learn more. What is the neuroscience study? The study on the neuroscience of IQs and decision-making was conducted by Andrew Huberman. The study was conducted on how visual cues are linked to decision-making and preferences for brands, products, and prices. The study had a sample of more than 3,000 people who were asked to choose between two images that look the same apart from the branding. Why is visual information so important in decision-making? The importance of visual cues in decision-making can be understood by the fact that we can make the same decision using visual cues alone even if the decision would not be the same with verbal cues alone. This is why visuals are so important in advertising. But visual cues are not the only important thing. They are also paired with verbal cues that are important in decision-making. What does the Andrew Huberman study tell us about brand name preference? The study found that people tend to prefer the brand name over the image of the product, even when the product is the same as the non-branded image. This preference for the brand name over the product image is also present in non-decision-making situations, like deciding on a restaurant or a product to buy. Why are people drawn to the eyes in decision-making? The study found that when people are observing an object, like a product, the gaze is often directed at the object's eyes, which is why people gravitate towards the eyes when they are looking at an object. The eyes are linked to higher prices and more expensive products than other parts of the object, while other parts of the product, such as the logo or color, are linked to cheaper prices. How did the study help us understand visual cues in decision-making? The Huberman study on the neuroscience of IQs and decision-making helped us understand how visual cues link to decision-makings, such as brand name preference, price, and the level of exclusivity. The study found that when people are looking at objects, such as a product or a logo, the eyes are linked to higher levels of exclusivity, as well as higher prices. Bottom line With the Huberman study on the neuroscience of IQs and decision-making, you can now understand why people tend to gravitate toward the brand name over the image of the product, even if the product is the same as the non-branded image. Similarly, you can also now understand the link between price and eyes and visual cues, which can be applied beyond aesthetics alone. From this, you can see how brands can capitalize on this universal trait in decision-making and use it to their advantage in advertising.